Hello friends, welcome to a new video. So this video is all about the Linux environment. How to set it up at the Linux uh, for the CP2112 board to read, write and get some important values from the battery. I know uh, some of my friends asked for this video uh, how to set it up on the Linux but it will take some time to do that again. So uh, I, will, I will share you my video, a link in the above to how to do that but I will not publish that video because it's a little lengthy video and if you want you can click on that link and you can uh, watch it how to do that but for a lazy people like me I will just download this file, this one, 1.8 GB. Just extract it and you will find the next light 5.8 virtual machine file and the other software VMware workstation player you need to download this one also and after it download install it and open it so here the VMware workstation 17 player open it just wait okay now close this and here you can see I'm already uh, imported the files but here I will open a virtual machine so this will be your interface click on the open a virtual machine and go to the download folder where you have downloaded the files here I am downloaded for the desktop uh, here you can see assembles mode Linux and open this file the .vmx click on the open so it will open just like this so you can edit the virtual machine settings you don't need to give the 2GB or the 4GB just just give the 2GB that's enough and the course 2 is enough hard disk whatever it is just leave it like that display we can use the 3d graphics or not okay and play the virtual machine so it will ask just like this and click on the I copied it so in the first time it will show a disk error okay it is showing press any key yeah press any key okay it will boot it up you can see some files are generated here some folders are generated so it is booting up for the first time on your PC okay now Linux light so if we expand this it will give you a full screen next slide the password is the same Linux light the same username the same password click login so if you just okay it is opened if you just click the uh, see like this small window click the minimize click on the large so maximize the display and that's it so the light welcome if you want you can use this but I am not recommend this okay here you can see my smsb master file which i used to install the files the user files downloads you can see all the files which i have downloaded for this cp2 and 2 okay now uh, this pc file system user local bin so there is our there is our files smsb flasher smsb com r2j sbs report smsb scan all the files you can uh, see here okay now what to do connect the cp2112 board and open the terminal so i am disconnected my cp212 and connecting it again so this pop-up will uh, show you connect to the host or connect to a virtual machine click on this and click ok so right now on the right top side you can click on this this arrow and it will show you the C silicon cp2112 hid usb to smbus bridge is connected now mm, open the terminal so this is just like the window setup not just every uh, Linux minimizing this so click on the terminal here and ls usb make sure the silicon is showing silicon lab cp2112 is there okay now we need to call the 
zero for the super user it will see detect hyphen l so the i2c is showing cp2 1 and 2 not this number i2c 0 i2c 0 now type gpio detect unable to access permission denied okay sudo you can see gpio is showing now type sudo mod prop i2c dev there's a hyphen i2c dev okay after that that is loaded then again try gpio detect oh, i forget the sudo okay this is very important step and after that try to read the i2c again it is showing okay good close this and open the bin folder right click open as administrator type the password close this and you can see warning you are using the root account okay no problem right click and open the terminal here okay now the terminal is here you can see the files now I want to read my battery uh, one of my mm, battery is connected let's scan this is work directly let's see oops no you need to use this so what we have here I'm using the super user so you don't need to call the sudo again if you are using the terminal you can call the sudo and follow the the, the procedure okay now what we need to use we need to call the device our device is so device assembly be scan so device equals device uri okay so for the i2c dev you need to use this for the i2c you can use this for the fx 2 lp board you can use the uh, the vid and the pid so here i am using this i2c dev copy and paste okay but here i am using the i2c zero now enter nothing happened give the address a uh, 16 16 okay it is trying to read nothing is showing but the CP2 1 and 2 is working it is it will uh, give you some values so I am I'm uh, going to use the SMBS B the SPS report SMBS B B report so SMBS B underscore SBS report here you can see the battery is showing the values it is a sony battery the sony firmware is used device name lithium is used serial number the manufacturing date is 2018 manufacturer access showing not the same value maybe the chip is in a lock condition yes the chip is in the lock condition because the charging and the charging voltage is not showing i am not connected the system present pin uh, this is a 8bq8050 chipset so the 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 system present pin should be connected to the ground temperature uh, it is above my pc i think it's in the exhaust fan above my pc that is why it is showing the temperature less like this voltage you can see 11.860 this is a three cell and it is neatly balanced good
cycle count is just only 50 watt but it is not giving the proper value remaining capacity hmm full charge capacity is 3192 okay what about the design capacity is it showing the design capacity no okay no worries we will call our smsb com here com enter uh, missing address okay i think i i missed something why it is not showing in the scan hyphen x the hyphen x will give you a help file address uh, okay minus uh, 16 minus c 0 I think I given the wrong command uh, we should give w here and there we go it is oh all, all the values are writable okay block writable 70 72 and the 73 oh that's not good this chip I think uses the newer type of firmware the Sony firmware it will support the SHA-1 algorithm mm, so we cannot use the our Sanyo uh, file or the BQ8050 which I developed for the uh, 8050 and the BQ9000 it will not going to work on this chip okay no worries let's read it I'm calling the com c o m m minus a 16 hyphen s address uh, minus a 0 x 16 minus c we need to write which 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 uh, register we need to read hyphen r 2 so it will read the hex values in the I think it is a word word read yes it is a word read and if you give the three here it will a uh, block read okay no worries let's read the 23 which will give you the block value that's good let's read 18 which is a design capacity 0 f Five zero, okay. Zero, F five zero, which is three three thousand and twenty. Mm, so this battery is four thousand uh, milliampere in total. Three series cell. Okay, so our what is a space report? So it lost about eight hundred milliampere in the cycle count of 51 is that good i don't know leave it so we uh, got our values we are able to read the values from the battery using the linux with the cp2112 now if you want uh, you can use my script file here you can see my bq9000 uh, file so i'm just call the bash So bash bq9000 dot sh uh, this will not going to work because this bq8050 is different from the other bq8050 so that is why lost communication when initializing the register 71 that is now 71 is registered on while we are scanning the full uh, registers here you can see it is showing only 72 so the so we cannot use our method to for this like this chip so it is work for the bq8030 bq8050 bq8055 bq9000 but only for the uh, the version the, the low version so by using this you can actually run the full uh, system and the, uh, while you are downloading this VMware file you can get this the, the BQ9000 because uh, while I am showing the video this uh, this was not included so this file will be there you can use this 
uh, that's it if you have any doubts comment below you can file the, the the files in my description box thanks for watching this video we will see you again